<laughs> the great Dave Winfield that joins us hey, uh, 22 hey, years uh, in, in Major League Baseball. Dave, how special is this for you as we explain to the folks at home? Because, you know, Roberto Clemente, he passed away almost 50 years ago. Major League Baseball decided to invite all the former Roberto Clemente award winners together. And you're seeing not only luminaries like yourself, but a lot of great guys who did a lot of great things off the field. I'm just going to say it's a tremendous honor. I mean, I accomplished a lot during my career, 22 years. In fact, I missed Roberto Clemente by one year. Mm -hmm. I really would have wanted to meet him, learn about play, outfield play. But as a human being, he was even greater. You know, the things I, I've learned about him afterwards, uh, how he was always focused on other people. He was a very accomplished himself on the field, obviously, but his focus was always doing for others, too. And, um, you know, I used... I don't know how much Roberto influenced me in that respect, but it was always in my heart and my mind to do for others. And I used his platform of baseball to do it. That's what he did, and that's what will be his legacy for uh, taking food to the people in uh, Nicaragua. And um, But for me, it was always how do I do things for the other people, the underserved. And I used baseball as a platform for 22 years to do those things. Winnie, what about for you? I mean, the, the impact that obviously he had. But where did that come for you? What, what, what was it about Dave Winfield that you wanted to give back? Simply said, I think it's, I know it's my family. Yeah. It's just my upbringing, St. Paul, Minnesota. Kudos, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the home <laughs> folks. And um, we did for others. And, you know, one of the first things I did with a little money, because we didn't used to make a lot of money, <laughs> I used uh, some of my money and the people at home. We started a scholarship fund and for minority student athletes in St. Paul, Minnesota. It's still in place today. Wow, man. Even the, me I'm gonna say, the mayor of St. Paul today won the award at one point. Wow. Melvin Carter. And, um, but, you know, I just, all I can say, I just used my career, my time, my money, my energy. It takes a lot sometimes, but I was always, it excited me. In fact, I was telling people indoors a little while ago that I played better because I knew we had a program coming up. I said, man, if you're hitting 205, they ain't gonna listen to you. <laughs> so I w it seemed like I would always have a great day when I'm amongst the people and um, giving them advice and motivation and inspiration. You were nominated for the award. You know, there's a player from every team who gets nominated for it. You won the award in, in 1994. Yeah. What'd that mean to you to win the Roberto oh. Clemente Award? Look, I, I won a lot of awards, a World Series winner, All-Star team 12 times, comeback player of the year, on and a lot of stuff. But it was getting late in the career, and I said, man, I've done a lot. I would love to win that <laughs> Roberto Clemente award. I'm honest. I'm, I'm being straightforward. And when they told, I was with the Minnesota Twins at the time. But when I won that award, I was extremely proud, extremely proud to be, I don't know, just be in the same breath, voice, uh, as Roberto Clemente because he meant a lot to the game and uh, we're all you know we're all family in this game of baseball and um, that was a very important award for me you know some of the things they give you, you say, oh, that's nice <laughs> you know how it is you put it on yeah, your yeah, shelf yeah, yeah, but yeah. nah this one is very prominent <laughs> in okay. my office Winnie you're one of the best athletes to ever play the game right well, you were drafted NFL NBA and MLB right is that have that right right I, we had the, AB, AB, we ABA. had the ABA back in the ABA some back people in don't the know day. about that yeah. stuff no. uh, I don't two, know. In, two, the yeah. ABA yeah. And, the great Dr. J yeah, that's was right. Dr. J superstar in the ABA in the ABA Aaron Judge is a guy like that. When I think of Dave, Aaron Judge, I think of Dave Winfield. You know, big guy, 6'7", you know, and, and just really good athlete. Tell us about what you see from Aaron Judge this year and what impresses you the most. Man, even though I see it from the West Coast, sometimes it's delayed or whatever, Aaron Judge is having an incredible year. His team has gone through ups and downs, you know, peaks and valleys. He's carried him. He's carried him. How you hit 57 home runs, driving all of these runs, and sometimes people just aren't on base. I'm not knocking anybody, but he, his statistical analysis compared to other people is so, he got 20 more, 20 some more home runs than the Incredible. next guy. Yep, you 30 nailed it. RBIs yeah. more than the next guy. I remember doing that in San Diego. I had a year in 79 that, you know, I was way ahead of everybody. But uh, Aaron Judge is having 
a year for the ages. I'm happy for him. I've known him for, you know, since he started doing his thing. And um, I just, uh, let's see what happens, how they judge it. I see Shohei Otani a lot as well. Right. So these, you know, these guys are great for the game. If you, if you had an MVP vote, where would you go there? <laughs> Got to have Putting him. Dave on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I... I think well, the Yankees are going a lot further than the Angels. Right, right. <laughs> so I'd, I'd probably say he should win it. You yes. can't go wrong. One, one more on Judge here, uh, Dave, because you're a big dude. I mean, 6'6", six, six, Aaron 6'7", six, goes about 280. He never looks out of control in center field. That's the one thing that's so impressive to me when, mm. when you look at him defensively. What, what, what impresses you about the way, because you're a big dude out there in the outfield, what impresses you about the way he plays defensively? Yeah. Um, I don't know. He, he just has accepted the challenge. They needed him in center. He said, I'll play center. He's not going to play it for a number of years. He's too, he's, he's, he's a big dude. You can't waste that and lose all his energy in center field. But he's doing it well now. He's doing it in the contract year. <laughs> Something His man is doing everything. <laughs> yeah. He's killing him. <laughs> he's killing him. I mean, so I, I'm, I'm totally excited about what, what he's doing. And he's doing it with joy. Um, He's, he's been a leader on that team. I've seen him emerge as a leader on that team. Keep doing his, keep doing your thing, Aaron. Yeah. Keep doing your thing. Always great to spend time the with best. Dave Finfield. You're going to learn a ton yeah. uh, just talking to Winnie. <laughs> we appreciate your time, and it, we'll let you enjoy the guys here because I'm sure it's been a marvelous day for you. My pleasure, and I'm going to enjoy my time with all the guys who yeah. have won the award as well. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, Thanks, we are Winnie. just getting started here on MLB Tonight.